Today we're doing a guitar lesson of Stone Temple Pilots, Wonderful. Uh, the song is going to be in standard tuning, starting with a low E. Here's your A. D. G. B. All right, we're gonna do a run through and we'll do a breakdown after that. Here we go. Okay, so that was a bit condensed. I went ahead and just went straight to the ending there. Your first chord is going to start off on a C standard chord. <laughs> and you're going to go from the this E note here, second fret on the D string. You're going to go from the E and alternate between the E, the F, back to E, and open D, and back to the E. So that should sound like with the chord being played the whole time. On that last on that last chord, you're gonna go ahead and pick up where so you get that high E, catch that high E there. picking pattern there or the scrum pattern it's down put the hammer on down 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 up down down I like to at the last part of it I like to do the down up down up So that's the that's the pick uh, the strum pattern for you, but it's basically just stays in the C chord there. 
And then when the verse starts, still a C. That is basically like it's in it's some kind of A sharp, uh, but you have a high E rigging in the uh, in the high end. So that's going to be uh, the eighth fret on the A string, eighth fret again on the D string, seventh fret on the on the G string. Uh, sixth fret on the B and the, hope, the um, open E. The E is open. You're not you're not playing the low E string. This chord's a bit tricky to uh, to transition too fast, but you're gonna play the uh, eighth fret on the low E string. You're gonna mute. That A string with your pinky when you're when you're playing this bass note, it also mutes the A note. So you should hear that. Seventh fret on the D string. Uh, let's see, fifth uh, fifth fret on the G string. It's gonna be sixth on the B again, and an open E string. Playing the sixth fret on the low E string again, you're going to mute the A string. You should not hear that. Get an open D. Uh, fifth fret on the B, uh, excuse me, on the G, and you got the sixth again on the B string, and an open E again. So it goes back to a C chord. This time you hammer on. Uh, you're playing that, uh, that E note, which is on the D string. Gonna do a hammer on from open D to the to the E again. So going back to the same chord, first time you played the verse. This chord is also the same. This chord is different. You're gonna play. Um, it's very similar to the chord you just played before this uh, before this chord. Actually, it is the same thing, but except when you play uh, this chord again, you're gonna go ahead and almost like you're doing an A sharp major chord. You can even if you want, you can bar this, but I don't hear that low uh, that low bass note. I just hear the high the high string ringing, which is a high a high A sharp. So don't play the bass note. Just play the uh, bottom five string. So together that should sound like this. chord, a bar chord, major. This chord is, uh, okay, so the fourth fret on the low E string, mute the A string, third fret on the D string, fifth fret on the G string, and sixth fret on the B string. Pretty quick. You're gonna go to an A, short, uh, an A sharp on the on the low string. Mute the A again. Play a fifth fret on the uh, D string, seventh fret on the G, and sixth on the B string. One thing that helps transition pretty fast to this is when you're playing this chord. You should be able to slide these two frets here: the low uh, fourth fret on the low string. Third fret on the uh, D string. Slide those over two frets. And when you're doing that, you're moving your uh, fingers here, uh, your pinky to the seventh fret of the G string and the sixth fret of the B string uh, with your ring finger. That might take a little bit of practice to get that down. It, it's kind of a tricky chord uh, to kind of work around. 
the next part of the song is, let's see. Back to a C. To an A minor. To a G sharp, major power chord. Or not power chord, uh, power chord, a bar chord. This is a G chord. It's a different uh, pattern of a G chord. You're just playing the low E, uh, the low, uh, the low E string of fretting uh, third fret. You're not playing the D string or the A string. Excuse me, the A string. You play the D string open. G string is open. Same with the B, and you fret the high E on the third fret. So the first time the uh, this riff plays, it just ends on that and starts back over to the verse. The second time that it plays, it just plays right through it, and then goes into like the bridge. I guess it's like a bridge riff. riff right there and it's best if you play it with your middle finger on the fourth fret of the low E string that way you can mute the A string and you're gonna play the fifth fret on the D and the G string you're not gonna play those those high strings you go ahead and mute that I mute it with my index finger here The reason I have my index finger free on this side is on the next part of the, this chord, you're going to play you're going to play the third fret on the D string, and if you have your index finger free, it's easier to transition to the, to that. And the same with this chord. This chord right here is the sixth fret on the low E string. You don't play the A string; it's muted. Uh, you play the 5th fret on the D string and the 7th fret on the G string and that's it. The second part of this chord is, uh, with your pinky you're going to play the 8th uh, fret on the, D, on the A string. And, and you don't really uh, play these two strings below it, too, you don't really focus on that too much, you try to just play the two low strings in the second part of the chord. So. <clears throat> This part is um, it's basically a minor, you're playing a minor, e, a minor A chord, and you're still, still doing that hammer on from the E, uh, from the E to the F, E back to open D, and uh, again to the E. And then you play G sharp major, A sharp major, to C, and that's the end of the song. Alright guys, thank you very much.